Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to the database and you can actually fetch the data or you can actually connect uh, your PHP file with the database. So here you can see I have installed Jamp. So you have to install Jamp in your PC. Okay. And then you can see I have start Apache server, right? So uh, the next thing is to connect to the database. You have to uh, start MySQL service also. So just click on the start. And it will actually uh, start okay so now uh, we have to go to the browser and here i'm going to type localhost slash php my admin now you can see we are in php my admin what you have to do you just have to create a database here so we will actually uh, create a new database at first so i will select a new and here we have to say database name so let's say i will say php tutorial underscore db okay and i will create it and i want to set a table for the users okay for the login purpose let's say number of column let's say name email and password so i need three create okay and here i need a name okay the name will be varkar the value will be let's say 255 and the next table uh, column name let's say email or actually i can say here email and name okay and everything is in a small letter okay so email also worker and then we have to give here 255 and then i need password password is also worker and i want to use here uh, 255 I need a unique ID, right? So for this, I will say uh, this one is uh, the primary key, email. Okay, so I have set the email as primary key. Okay, and then I have to save it. Here you can see we have a table, user table, and if I go to the browse, here you can see we have name, email, and password, and we haven't any value here yet. Okay, so let's go here and here you can see i have created a registration form here and uh, what i'm going to do here we just have to uh, create a connection and to execute it okay so uh, here you can see i have created a form here for the registration purpose and here we have name email password and a button so it will actually redirect to the same page because here you can see action is registration.php and here i have a write php script so i have set here condition that if submit button pressed it will actually enter this close and we are actually uh, setting here some local variable with the dollar sign and i am actually uh, you know storing the value field values through their name okay so now i have to uh, insert to the database so how we can actually do this so we need to write a query and let's say i want to set a variable that is sql and i'm going to write the sql query so we know for the insertion we have insert into the table name is users all right users okay uh, the table name is users i will say in all the column the column will be uh, name email and password right so name email password i need to set values value would be the first one is dollar name you need to give a comma then single quotation dollar email uh, separate uh, we have to use comma and the last one is password so we have sql but now we need to execute the query to execute the query we need a connection so here i am going to create a connection uh, so actually i need uh, let's say here you can see i have a login uh, process and registration process so i need to uh, you know i need uh, the connection two times okay so i'm going to create a, a common file for the connection the connection name will be db.php and here i'm going to set the connection so to set a connection we need a server name so i will uh, write here php script okay like this and here i'm going to select some variable so i will say here dollar server the server name is we know um, we are in local host right in our pc so the server name is local host we need the password so i will say password uh, we need username also right so i will say user name is equal to uh, we need to give the username and that is 
root by default when you use jamp the by default uh, username is root and then uh, let's say password I'm going to say here null because by default password is null and we need that database name okay so i'll say dv underscore name and here i'm going to say the database name so if i go to the browser in the php my admin panel here you can see our database name is php tutorial db okay so i will say here uh go inside it php tutorial underscore db so we have set server name username password and database name now we need to do the connection for it actually i'm going to select here a or write here a variable and i'm going to store the connection in this variable so i will say new my sql i for the connection okay and here i'm going to pass all the parameters so we need four parameters for this mysql query yeah sorry function okay so here i'm going to say uh the first one is dollar server second one is dollar username third one is dollar password fourth one is dollar dv underscore name so now uh, you can see everything is done now we need to access the connection in the in every single page where actually i'm going to uh, you know set the connection with the database and here at the top i'm going to say that include i'll say db dot php why because i need to include the file to access uh, all the um, you know to access the whole page okay i have to include it so here you can see i have include uh, db.php now actually i can uh, access the connection variable here so i will say dollar result why because i want to set the result inside a variable that is called result variable and here i'm going to say my sql i underscore query the function and here i'm going to pass two parameter why one is for the connection another one is for the sql so the connection will set the connection and we need to pass the sql also uh, for this function okay and now our result is executed so we'll check that if uh, not dollar result i mean if a, a dollar result is not executed successfully we will say that echo uh, actually i'm going to say error and i want to show the error so i will say dollar pawn error. this is the connection problem so i will say connect error okay uh, otherwise else we'll say echo inserted successfully I'm going to remove it I don't need it so let's check go here the browser and here I'm going to say localhost slash my project name here you can see the project name is PHP tutorial so I will say PHP tutorial slash registration page name is register dot PHP here you can see registration dot, uh, dot PHP okay and here uh, it's saying that okay enter your name so I will say Yamin yummy at gmail.com password one two three log in now you can see inserted successfully so let's go and check here refresh now you can see we have added name email and password okay now let's go for the login i want to go to the login page and i'm going to copy it because i need connection once more so here at the top i'm going to paste the connection uh sorry include and here uh, now i can access the connection variable from the db.php page okay here from this space uh, so uh, i don't need to do it here and actually i'm going to and here you can see uh, i'm getting email and password right here we have a form so it will actually go to the login.php i'm in same page and with the email field value and password field value so i'm getting uh, i'm storing email and password field in the local variable email and password and now i'm going to write a query because i want to match them uh, with the uh, user stable email and password okay so here i will say sql is equal to i'm going to fetch the data so i will say uh, select all from the table name is users okay and i will say where because i need a condition where uh, i will say where email 
because the user's column name is email is equal to I will say this email what dollar dollar email so it will actually uh, we need to execute the query so I will say here a variable result and I will say my SQL I underscore query here I'm going to pass dollar connection and dollar SQL and now I will say if dollar result I'll say number of rows is greater than zero I mean if the row I mean if uh, any row actually exists with the same email it means the value will be more than zero so i have set here a condition and it will actually enter here i will say okay now um, i want to know the password also because uh, only uh, with the email actually i cannot you know verify the user okay so i need to know the password also so i will say here dollar uh, i want to actually fetch the data okay why uh, if you want to fetch data from the database you need to do i mean fetch it as associative array so we have a function mysql i fetch as a soc so this is the function and here we just have to pass the result variable because uh, our query result is inside this result variable so i have pass it and mysql i okay so we just have to remove one s so this is the function and now we will actually say okay uh, i want to uh, so now result is actually a uh, fetch as associative error now we can actually uh, access the you know table through column name so now i will say if dollar row the column name is password because i want to match the password so i will say if the row uh, sorry dollar row uh, password is equal to our password and that is a dollar password okay i don't need to give here any protection so i'm checking here that if um, the password is equal to our password so we'll actually say that echo uh, say password is correct else we'll say echo password is not correct let's we have no data so what we'll do i will say else echo go for registration and here i'm going to show the registration link okay I have to give it a slash and here I have to say reference is equal to registry registration dot h here i'm going to say register okay now um let's go so we have to go to the login dot php login dot php so here you can see we have email so let's say i want to actually give here a random email uh, that are not you know uh, i mean inserted here so i will say let's say tanvi at gmail.com password one two three login and here you can see go for registration because we don't have any email uh, uh, that is actually tanvir at gmail.com here okay so now let's go for uh, login at gmail.com but i will actually give here uh, false uh, password that is one two three four you can see and if i go login and here you can see it shows password is not correct and if i say here yamin at gmail.com and password is one two three login now you can see password is card so this is how you can actually connect uh, through database okay what you have to do you have to just install jump in your pc and then you just have to start my S, uh, sql with uh, apache also right and then you can actually run it uh, i mean run your php uh, code and you can just go to the php my admin and here you have to uh, you know create a database and then table then actually you can insert through queries okay i hope you understand if this video is helpful for you please make sure to give a like and subscribe this channel for more videos like this see you in the next video till then goodbye